I like to train my students because I love to train because I love jiu-jitsu. This is, this is my entire life, this is all I do. I go to sleep thinking about it, I wake up thinking about it, that's all I... Sometimes I'm sitting with my girlfriend and I just go off, she's like, why are you thinking about jiu-jitsu again? She can just tell that's all my life is consumed by this. To not train with my students I think would be a crime for me. I think it's like, it's the best way for me to be able to relay information back where they could be doing better and also it brings their level up. And now I've created a bunch of people where they can actually give me good training so I don't have to, I am still traveling to train but they can still give me tough rounds, you know? It's easy to tell people to do something but they want to see you do it as well sometimes. I think when we're all training, we're all like they can learn from me and I can still learn from them, you know, I pick up stuff from them all the time. So it's good from both, like both accounts. You know? We're here at Enzo Jiu Jitsu Academy in Colchester, this is my gym. And today we had like our official grand opening and we had a seminar of Konstantinos, uh, one of the guys, one of the black belts from ZR team in Greece. The Walter White trim. Walter White season three trim. We didn't know what to call the gym. We went to shore, and Alan was with with Konstantinos in Greece, and they have Enzo Athens. And then uh, he said, "What does Enzo mean?" And he explained the meaning of it. The name of his gym is Enzo Athens. We were having food there. I went to do a seminar there in Athens. We were having some food and. I was like, what does Enzo mean? And he said, it's a look for perfection. You know, like everything comes out in a circle. And I was like, wow, man, what a nice, nice name. So I messaged Taylor immediately and I said, what do you think about Enzo? And Enzo said, let's do this, man. It really resonated with me about like the last year, what I've, what I've been going through and everything. And I thought that was like a really cool name to just summarize everything really what's happened. And so, yeah, we went with Enzo. I thought it was really cool. I thought it was really fitting. John, can you organise? Make your military you know, How wide's your lens? Because you can't sort out sitting kneeling and standing. I don't want to help feel it's like a bellend, but it's amazing how people have like jobs and stuff. Like, I know I'm the dumb one in the room because like, I like, just do sport for a job. But like, people's like, common sense is just done. It's finished. It's finished. So, our plan is to just. Because this place is not the end for us. We want to double it triple it in size hopefully in a few years we just have enough money saved that when the lease is up then we're going to go and get a place and i just have a mass i want just the best jiu-jitsu facility because i may have the best level but i want the best facility i want everything to be really good for everyone i just want it to be different to everything else you know but it's going to take time but i'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be okay we'll do it Yeah, I just want I just want to provide people with the opportunities that I've had. Like I'm doing that with Will a little bit, like just trying to help, just give him the opportunities that I've had. And I just want to give be able to give that to loads of people, you know, just change because it's changed my life. You know, Alan helped me out, changed my life fully. Like I don't know what I'd be doing, mate, honestly, if I didn't do jujitsu, I don't I wouldn't even know because I've been doing it for over half my life, no far about almost half my life. So I don't even know what I'd be doing without it. And I just yeah, I just want to give everyone the same opportunities I've had, you know, and really try and create something. You know, for the people, culture stuff. So I started in 2011 and Alan coached a bunch of different gyms. There's, man, there's always falling out, people leave, then he went to another gym and no gym was ever, it was, nothing was like this. I mean, you never had like a sick place to train with the best mats and stuff like that. So like a nice, nice facilities, you know, just, yeah, it just means a lot to me. It's, it's, it's just such a cool thing, isn't it? Like sitting here now, I'm a bit like, it's still in disbelief that this is mine, you know, but it's a, it's a lot of work that's gone into this, it's 12 years. You know, we've gone into this and yeah, I just can't wait to see what we do, man, honestly. John's little, man, I don't 
don't know. It's a good question. I was always interested in sports, but I'm shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like, I was just shit, everything. Like, terrible. Terrible at football. My dad wanted me to play football. I was man, awful, bro. Awful at football. The worst you've ever seen, yes. Yeah? So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done, mate, to be honest, because I didn't pay attention in school. But I don't know if I didn't pay attention in school because I was just so focused on jiu-jitsu. But I think I have ADHD as well, like quite bad. I'm not just saying that either. Someone else pointed that out to me. Charles, my, my PT, my strength coach, he said, man, you definitely have it. <laughs> he said, so I don't know. I've really struggled in school, man. I don't know what I would have been doing, mate, to be honest. I probably would have been a loser, to be fair. Uh, if anyone's in Colchester or in Essex and they want to come train, just check it out. Come train with me. Like I said, I'm here every day. You can hit me up on my Instagram. Uh, Taylor 96 you can message me I'll always reply and you can come down or you can message the, the Instagram page Enzo underscore JJ and you can message us there you want to come down yeah we're just located in Colchester so if you ever want to come down just give us a shout you guys can come thanks man